So this is another tutorial in our Python for Beginners tutorial series. And today we are looking at functions in Python. So functions are reusable block of code that performs a specific task. So think of functions like a block of code that you have that you can use it repeatedly, okay? So anytime you want to perform that same task, you can just call that function name without writing that line of code once again. So you can just call that function and reuse it. So it's a reusable block of code and you understand all of this in a Jiffy. With that being said, let's look at how you can define your own function. And to do that, we'll start off by creating a very simple function that adds two numbers together. So in Python, to create a function, you start with a DF keyword, which stands for define followed by the name of the function and bear in mind for our function we want a function that adds two numbers together so in this case i urge you to give a very descriptive name to your functions the function name should be about the tasks these functions are going to perform so a good name to give in this case will be add because you are going to add two numbers together from here you have to bring parenthesis okay and in this parenthesis you have to pass something we call parameters so parameters are the variables we pass to a function when we are defining a function and i'll talk more about parameters in the jiffy so stay tuned so in our case i told you we are going to add two numbers so let's assume these our two numbers will be what x and y so this x and y are variables that are going to be a placeholder for the actual numbers will be passing when we call this function. From there, make sure you bring your colon and press enter on your keyboard. From there, you can see we have about four spaces on our left. And this space is what we call indentation. So make sure after defining a function, you leave four spaces on your left. And that's what we call indentation. So when you bring the cursor here, all you need to do is to press your space bar four times. So you press it one, two, three, four. Okay. Another trick to do that is to just uh, press the tab key and you can see it will just jump to that exact place. If you don't do that, you will get an error when trying to uh, run your code. So all we want this function to do is to add these two numbers up. So what we'll do is to just print um x and y so we'll just print x plus y so this is our simple function that is able to take two parameters and add them and print them up so to use this function all we have to come and do is to come down and write the name of the function then you have to provide the two numbers you want this function to add for you so you can do um x is equal to seven and then you can give another number for y which is equal to any number you like so i'll give it eight and when you run this code this should add this number up for us so you can see we got our result and our result right here is 15. and remember from the beginning i told you a function is a reusable block of code so this is what i mean by function being a reusable block of code that means i can call this function let's say two times so I'll copy and paste this same function down and I can change these numbers instead of eight. Now I can give uh, 90 and then X will remain at seven and I can run this again. And you can see this same function now works two times and taking different uh, arguments and it's giving me the result. I've also mentioned argument, which I will also explain in a Jiffy. So I have parameters and argument to explain before this tutorial ends. All right. So now you know how to define a function. You know how to give this function some parameters and also add those parameters. You know how to call the function. Okay. In other words, you know how to use your defined function. All right. One thing we also have is the function return type. Okay. Whereby you want the function to return to you a value. So instead of just printing that this value, you want to return this value because maybe we'll be using it for something else. That's where you can uh, do return. You can just type return and you want to return X plus Y. All right. So when you return a value, when using the function, you have to catch that value. So let's use this function again. I'll just call add and then i can say okay my x is equal to six and my y here is equal to eight 
then what i would do is that when i run this function this time around you can see it will not give me any answer okay let me clear the terminal and run that once again you see i've gotten nothing yes that's because i'm not printing it in the function and i'm just returning the value so to catch the result i can just re uh, catch the result in a variable called result and this is equal to what add so whatever will be returned here now, I'm passing that into this variable and I can go ahead now and print that particular result. Okay, so this time around, let me run it and let's see how it goes. So you can see we've gotten four things, which is the addition of six and eight, right? So you can see how simple it is to return values from a function to define a function. And this just a simple line of code to demonstrate how to use a function. So let's move on to um, parameters and arguments, okay? So I'll copy all this code and bring it down here so that I'll be able to explain to you. So let me put this code here and uh, I'll use this to explain what function parameters and function arguments are. So parameters are variables in the function definition, okay? So as we are defining the function add, whatever we put here are called the function parameters okay so those are the function parameters when defining the function whatever variables you give into the function are the function parameters all right then arguments are the values passed to the function when called so as we are calling this function right here add and we give it x is equal to six y is equal to eight these are the arguments we are passing into this particular function okay so there is something we call positional argument and keyword argument so what we have done here by passing x is equal to six y is equal to eight is called keyword argument this means that when we are defining the function we give parameters such as x and y so when we were calling this function or using this function we are specifying that x is equal to six and y is equal to what eight so we are using this keyword to lay emphasis that what x is six and y is what eight we can also do this by not specifying what x and y and that in the other hand is called a positional argument so if you are not specifying x and y then you have to make sure you use their positions in that case you can write six and what eight and automatically x will be equal to six and uh, y will be equal to what eight because we are now using their position so if you don't specify the keyword which in this case is let's say x is six and y is equal to eight then you have to make sure whatever you pass in uh it will automatically use a uh, positional argument okay so in this case when you just do it like this s will be automatically equal to six and y will be equal to eight but it's also good if you use keyword but because one advantage of using keyword is that you can specify y first it doesn't matter uh the position okay it doesn't matter how you you give your parameter so i can do y is equal to nine and x is equal to what seven so with this i can specify y be before x it doesn't matter because i am using their keyword name okay so that's one advantage about using keyword but if you don't want to use keyword, you can just use the word positional argument by just putting in the numbers of X and Y and make sure you arrange it according to how you pass in these uh, parameters. So that's about positional and keyword argument. Now let's look at some of the importance of functions. I think I talked about parameters and arguments already so I can get rid of them. So what are some of the importance of functions? okay from what we have done so far you can see the reusability okay functions can be called multiple times which i demonstrated earlier on one function you can reuse it by providing different arguments and you can get uh multiple output from one function okay so you can reuse a function which is very uh good organization they help keep code clean yes and organize making it easier to read and maintain so functions just make your code very clean, very organized and making it easier for you to um, maintain. So this is all you have to know about functions in Python as a beginner. Let me know how you find this tutorial and also put in the comment section if there is something you don't understand so that I can address it. So thank you guys for watching this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.